morning folks first real trip out with this thing and uh, <laughs> I had a bit of a difficulty it is really hard to control with hidden ruts under the snow there's some um, old tire road, ruts on this road the snow is at least a foot deep uh, it was working kind of hard pulling me up through this and uh, I'm not getting the full amount of throttle out of my throttle cable. I ordered another one, so that should be here before too long. But, <laughs> it went over the edge. Luckily it stopped. The bad thing is that that's going to be a lot of fun to drag that buck back up out of. Going out the bottom is not an option. There's no road down there, and it's really steep. There's nothing further over. I can't go down anyway. I do have a little winch, but it's back at the house. And uh, I'm only maybe a mile or two from home. But uh, there's not a lot to winch to up here. That sage bush right there is probably the best bet. So, <laughs> I kind of um, count this one as a failure. <laughs> I'm going to be walking here for a little while and spend probably half a day getting this thing up, up out of the snow. So, here we go. Well, I made it to the bottom and back up again, this time in the truck, which is kind of ironic because I made this thing so I wouldn't have to bring the truck up here. The snow, it's almost knee deep, so it's um, not something I want to do very often with the truck. On the road, it's only about a foot deep because people have been going up here until recently. There's no tire tracks now. I chained up and I still had a little bit of squirreliness coming up here but um, I'm only off the road here about six feet but it is a pretty good slope I'm sure glad that that sagebrush stopped it so two things I've learned today <laughs> I went back home too and I, I got out of my hot clothes because uh, when I left the house it was 13 degrees and so I buttoned up everything and put on clothes to the point where I could have been comfortable at 20 degrees 20 minus 20 good degrees and uh, I was hot <laughs> so especially having to walk back home uh, so I got out of my my warmer clothes uh, two things I have learned here is that you Definitely want to stay to the inside corners of the road, and I need brakes. Now, I don't know if I could have stopped this in time or not. I hit that little kind of a kind of a tire rut, and it threw me right off the side and over the edge before I was really knowing even what happened. So I don't know if the brakes would have helped or not, but I'm sure they'd be useful at other times. So, so anyway, so I got the truck up here. I got this rack. I'm going to try to load this onto if I can get it out of here. Cindy bought me kind of a neat deal for Christmas. Uh, okay, Cindy bought me a neat deal. It's a little worn winch that has no battery or no motor, I mean, and um, it runs off of a cordless drill. It doesn't have a whole lot of pull. It's only rated for, I think, 750 pounds unless you double it. So that's not very much, but uh, it might pull this up out of the ravine. But uh, mainly we bought this thing for dragging deer tree to tree or maybe half an elk and getting out game animals. So hook this up and see if this thing will even do this.
All right. Well, it didn't go too bad, I guess. But tell you what, that little winch, it's about all it can do. The, um, oops. The batteries don't last that long either. I probably need a better drill. That's only, I don't know what they are. They're, um, 18 volt, I guess. Probably need a, need a bigger drill. But it got it up out of there. Not really sure why it wasn't free spooling a little easier than that, though. It should have been. But, I don't know. That track is a little stiff and old from being, um, well, it's a 1970s, so it's a pretty old track. Well, anyway, <laughs> not down there anymore, but I guess I'm done wolf hunting for today, too. So I'll see if I can't get this thing loaded up and head on back home. All right, all loaded up and ready to go. This uh, little truck I got, it did not come with a, a receiver hitch. And uh, I made one. It's pretty light, pretty light duty. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but it'll get me home. I only gotta go about two miles here. So anyway, <laughs> wasn't the best of trips. I was hoping to come home with a wolf, not have to come back for the for the machine so anyway thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time hopefully it'll be a better day bye